Holy crap, it is freezing out here today <laughs> and super windy. I'm sure the microphone is picking a lot of that up. It was supposed to be nice. That's why I planned on coming out here and doing a video, but it's not. But today we're gonna do kind of a product review on something that I actually found at Walmart, believe it or not. I hate Walmart. I try to stay out of it as much as I can. Um, but I came across this the other day and it caught my eye and I decided to pick up a box and see how they work. So what we have is called the clean shot. It is a 12 gauge shotgun shell that apparently cleans the bore of your shotgun. So on the back, it gives a little description on how this thing works. And you can see it looks like it's got five different layers that allow this thing to clean the bore of your shotgun as it goes down the barrel. So obviously it just cleans the bore. It doesn't clean like the bolt or the receiver or nothing like that. But for some reason, shotgun barrels specifically are really vulnerable places for rust to form. I've seen it on my guns after just a couple months in a safe. Like if you go out and shoot and then don't clean the bore of your gun, um, you can see rust start to form on shotgun barrels more than other, at least in my experience. So if this works like it's supposed to, it would be really cool for you to just, you know, shoot the last shell of the day, um, make it a clean shot shell, and then you don't have to go through the whole cleaning process of wiping your bore clean and stuff like that if you plan on storing your gun. I'm skeptical about it, super skeptical about it. I don't think it's gonna work very well, but hopefully we get proved wrong and it works really well. So I got a couple different shotguns out here and we're gonna shoot each of them a little bit and they've both already been shot quite a bit, but we're gonna put a few more rounds through them today and then I'm going to shoot the clean shot shell through one of them and then wipe each of them with a patch and see what the inside of the barrels look like. So the two guns we have are my 12 gauge Benelli Supernova pump action shotgun and the Remington Versamax 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun that was sent by Turtle Lake Tactical. Thank you to them once again uh, for sending this out. They helped me out a lot so go check out their website and help me thank them. I love this gun. Really the reason I'm making this video is to have an excuse to shoot this gun. This is by far my favorite shotgun that I've ever shot. So the Benelli obviously has a few more rounds through it, but I cleaned it probably a month before this one got sent to me. So it's not gonna be super dirty or at least a lot more dirty than this one. And then I've shot this one quite a bit since I've got it and I have not cleaned it yet. So let's start with the Versamax and shoot our steel a little bit. Headshots. I love this gun. <laughs> it is so fun to shoot and it feels like a, I don't know, it feels like a 20 gauge. It just has like no recoil. All right, let's shoot the Benelli. I tell you what, it is a lot easier to load the Benelli with these big gloves on. I don't know why Remington still uses these shell lifters that come down and pinch your thumb, but I got 10 rounds in this one fully loaded and I want to try and rapid fire this as fast as we can on the steel and see how it feels. This is like the ultimate rapid fire shotgun. So let's do it. All right, let's try to rapid fire the Benelli. I suck at shooting pumps fast, but I'll give it a shot. I realize I'm shooting the Versamax a little bit more. For one, it holds a lot more rounds, but it's had a few less shot through it since I got it sent to me. So I'm just trying to even out, you know, how dirty the shotguns are gonna be. So, plus it's about 10 times more fun to shoot too. <laughs> Look at that. That is a malfunction in a pump action shotgun. The mythical pump action shotgun malfunction that never happens, huh? That sucks. I've never had that happen. And that was stupid to spit it out right in my throat like that. But see, that is a live shell. I didn't short stroke it. So that wasn't user error. It just got kind of hung up. All right, let's try it again. My hand got a little farther out on the pump and I was like stretching as far as I could. Not terrible, definitely nowhere near as fast as the Versamax though. <laughs> Looks like I took a branch off the tree behind our target. I was trying to do headshots and one of them must've went high. All right, shoot the Benelli again. Boy, the more I shoot that Remington Versamax, the more I love semi-automatic shotguns. Let's try a couple of these high brass number four buckshot loads. And a Winchester slug to finish it off.
Almost no difference in recoil. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> All right, now we got the clean shot shell and it's a clear shotgun shell so you can see the five different layers inside that shotgun shell. So I think I'm gonna shoot this one through the Versamax because we have shot it a little bit more today. Like I said, the Benelli is probably the dirtier gun, but the Versamax has gotten pretty dirty over the last few days that I've shot it. I also wanna see if this thing will cycle the bolt on a semi-automatic shotgun. I don't know why, I'm just curious, so. All right, let's see how it feels. Way less recoil than a regular shotgun shell, obviously it did lock the bolt back, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect it to, um, but I saw it hit the steel really hard, so it's still a, a deadly round, but definitely not as much recoil. All right, now for the moment of truth, you guys are actually in my truck bed right now, and I have the guns kind of laying on my tailgate right here. So I have my cleaning rod with a big patch on the end of it, and I put just a little bit of CLP on there to kind of attract whatever carbon is inside the barrel. So I'm gonna start with the Benelli that we did not shoot the clean shot through. And I'm not gonna disassemble these guns, I'm just gonna put our cleaning rod down the muzzle and then pull it back out and look at our patch that way. They both are unloaded and they're both on safe. So I've triple checked that. So see how dirty our Benelli is. All right, hopefully it will focus on this, but you can see where the patch was touching the inside of the bore. Uh, it's definitely super dirty. <laughs> a lot of black carbon on that patch right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and set it to the side. We can compare them when we're done. And the Versamax that we shot the clean shot through. So this one has this gnarly tactical breech choke on the end of it. I hope it doesn't snag the patch and rip it. <laughs> All right, we're good. All the way down. And I got two of these really big patches, so it is pretty tight in that barrel. Pull it out. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. It looks like it worked. <laughs> I am shocked. I did not expect that. I mean, there's obviously a little bit on there. Like, you can see a little bit of carbon on there, but nothing even close to what we got with the Benelli. I'm surprised by that. I really am. I even had a little bit more CLP on this one. Not intentionally, but it just happened to be that way. We got the Benelli right here on your left, I think, and the Versamax right here. And you can see the patch that went down the Benelli <laughs> is a lot dirtier than the one that went down the Versamax. The one through the Versamax is pretty much clean. I mean, that it has a little bit on it, obviously, but there's basically nothing on there. And then the one we sent down the Benelli is jet black with carbon all over it. It obviously uh, needs to be cleaned. Whereas this one, I feel like that barrel is pretty much clean already. So that impressed me. I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect uh, that to be, you know, that big of a difference like that. And it looks like that clean shot, this little thing right here actually worked and cleaned the bore of the Versamax. Obviously, if you want to clean the whole gun, uh, you're going to have to take it apart and clean it. But if you're looking to just shoot something down the barrel to you know, clean the bore, surprisingly, these clean shot shells actually look like they might work. So I'm surprised. Let me know in the comments if you guys are. I don't know if you guys have ever you know, had any experience with these. I'm sure there's other videos out there on them. I don't usually go through YouTube looking for other videos before I make one. I just find something cool that I think you guys might be interested in and make a video on it. So there might be a hundred videos already on these. I don't really know. Um, but I had no idea about them until I saw them in the store and I did not think they would work. I thought they were going to be kind of a gimmick. So they're cheap. They're like five or six bucks a box. They're not expensive and they look like they actually work. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different than what we normally do. I usually don't do like product testing or reviews, uh, but these looked cool. And it gave me an excuse to bring the Versamax back out here and shoot it again because I'm trying to just find different videos and different ways to shoot this gun before I have to send it back because I love it. It's my favorite shotgun I've ever shot. And unfortunately, I can't afford to keep it. So I'm just trying to shoot it while I have it and this gave me another excuse for that so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to help support the channel as always guys you can visit my patreon account i will post a link to that down in the description as well as up here on the screen for you i appreciate all of you guys who support the channel um, it's really all the money we make because youtube just immediately demonetizes all my videos so you guys help support me and it really means a lot to me so thank you for that if you like the video guys again smash that like button as always thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time